Hey, it's Tom. And Tim. From the Play White Tees. Hey, what's up? I'm Jordan from the Ready Set. Hello, my name is Andrew WK, and you're partying with me here on Ribbit TV. You've been watching Ribbit TV. You're watching Ribbit TV. Allison here with Ribbit TV, hanging out with Kyle from Real Friends. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're here outside of Firebird, St. Louis. They're on tour. This is one of your first shows on the tour of the fall, right? Yeah, I think uh, this is the fifth show. Fifth yeah. show? Yeah. How are you liking it so far? It's awesome. It's really cool. And um, yeah, it's been great. We've just kind of dug into the Midwest so far, and we'll be heading out west. Uh, after today, we go to like Kansas City and then kind of start kind of heading towards the coast and everything. Oh, wow. So, how, yeah. how long does it go for? Um, I think it's about like a month and a half. It's like just just shy of a month and a half. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Uh, so you did Warped Tour this summer. How is it different from Warped Tour to club shows? It's a lot different, I'm sure. It's I like club shows better because I'm old and I think it's really <laughs> hot outside in the summer. So, um, but uh but yeah, I like club shows better. They're just a lot um, more personal too. Like Warped Tour, you have this big barricade and everything. And it's like these shows were able to be more personal with fans and play a uh, longer set as well, which is really cool for the people that care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you were on Warped Tour, did you have any like tricks or, I don't know, something that you did on stage to try and get people to stop? Because there is people everywhere. Did um, you have like get attention I guess um I mean we would just post posters every day and hope that the people that didn't know who we are would come out and um besides that uh one thing we actually had to do more and more was say our band name a lot more because yeah. people come by you know and might stop for like a song and it's like you gotta be like hey we're real friends there you know and so so that was that was really kind of it but it was a great experience and it was really cool we were really fortunate to be able to have a, a lot of people come out and everything so yeah, yeah it was cool that's awesome. You also did a few side shows while following Warp Tour, right? Yeah, we did. We did a couple shows on the way out, like Midwest stuff, and then um, we did uh, a show in St. Louis, yeah. uh, like right towards the end of our Warp Tour run, which was really kind of refreshing in a way. It's like, oh, there's air conditioning, and <laughs> if everything is like not under this hot tent and everything. Yeah. So yeah, so it was it was, it was cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice change to be inside uh, from outside. Yes, definitely, especially in the summer. I mean, there we did a Las Vegas date that was 120 degrees, so that's no fun, yeah. Is it bad if I would've been like, oh, sorry, can't play, too hot. There, there was actually a, a, a lot of bands that day that pretty much, after they were done, kind of packed up and left. So really? I don't blame them. No. I don't blame them. <laughs> uh, so what has been your favorite tour so I feel like you guys have gotten really big really fast recently like I feel like you've gotten a lot more exposure so what's been your favorite tour leading up to this one so far um or is this one your favorite so far? I would say like so far this has been really cool just because it's our first proper U.S. tour like mm -hmm. you know with like promoted with with like really great bands I think all the bands on this tour are great like Pentimento Forever Came Calling and Mixtapes are all great bands yeah. um so I would say like so far this has been really good I mean our first full U.S. tour was with Census Fail, Such Gold, and Major League. Um, that was that was really cool as well. I mean, we haven't really done that many tours, you know? We yeah. just started touring full-time in April, so. Yeah. What's it look like for you guys doing record labels? Do you want to, or? Um, I mean, it's something that's, like, been discussed, but, like, as of right now, it's like we're independent, and yeah. that's been something that's kind of worked to our advantage. Um, you know, we don't really, I don't know, it's kind of like everything that we've done is, like, through through us you know and it's kind of like cool in a way to be able to connect with your fans at that level yeah. you know because I think a lot of people will look at a band and be like oh they're on a record label that's why they're doing this it's like we don't have that funding yeah. or like um, help with marketing and all that so it's kind of more rewarding to do it independently and uh, you know as of right now that's kind of where it will be staying so yeah. so what's some of the influence that you have when you're writing your records um when writing i mean we all listen to a lot of different things you know when it comes to like sound um so i mean we pull influence from like heavier music like you know more pop punk as well and then like um a lot of slower stuff as well i mean like it's you know i don't have enough time to sit here and tell you all the influence there's so many um but i would say that like musically just kind of a mix of everything and then when it comes to like lyrical content things like that we kind of try to keep the more like positive vibe of uh 
you know, moving forward and knowing that everything is uh, going to be okay kind of yeah. thing. Because I think a lot of our age demographic fans need to hear that, that, hey, everything's cool, you know, like everyone goes through stuff in life and like we've been there too, like you're not alone, you know, kind of yeah. thing, so... Yeah, that's awesome. That's really good. Good messages and everything. Yeah, I think I think out. I think you need to have a message these days. There's too many bands out there that it's like, hey, let's start a band. It seems like everyone's in a band. You know, it's yeah. like you need to shine through that somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are from Chicago. Did you go to Riot Fest when I was in there? Uh, no, I did not. I think most of the other guys in my band did. But when when I'm home, I I don't really go to shows because yeah. I'm just I don't know. I'm just like try to live like the normal life, <laughs> like at home. Because um, when I'm gone, that's what I'm doing, you know. So I didn't go to Riot Fest, but I did. I did want to go, and I was going to go the last day, but it was raining really, really bad. The last like, day was so cold. Yeah, like I, I really wanted to see um, uh, brand new, but I just, it was just so bad. Like I was just like, uh, I don't know, I can't yeah. do this. So yeah. <laughs> no, I was the whole time I was watching brand new. I was like, this is miserable. Like I'm happy, but I'm so miserable. Yeah. Yeah. That's Chicago, though. I guess. Freezing. Yeah, 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 that's that's how it is. You know, it's either like really hot or like I swear it's never just like nice. Like I mean, sometimes, but it's either like really hot or really cold or rainy. You know, so oh well. So if you could your dream tour, you could go on tour with anyone, be a part of any festival, anything like that. What would it be? Um, my answer for this is usually always the same, and it's uh, to tour with uh, the starting line, and we actually got to play like three shows with them this past winter yeah and it was really cool you know and it's like it's still my dream band to play with even though we already did <laughs> but it's just it's still surreal to me that we got to play with them because there's such a huge influence on us that's like the one band um them and like brand new i think is the one band that all of us kind of connect with like collectively mm -hmm. and like really draw influence from those two bands so it was really cool to play with them and it'd be awesome to to tour with them if they ever did do another like tour you know they very rarely play but they're but yeah, yeah. starting line i'd say yeah. yeah starting line get a tour take them with you Please. i will go to at least like half the midwest <laughs> because that would be awesome i went to that show in oh, okay. chicago awesome. in december it was really good That's awesome. yeah, that was the first time i heard you guys and since then i feel like you've blown up and i don't know if it's like partly from that show that you got a lot of exposure you guys have been doing crazy things i feel I, like i think a lot of you know like we're really grateful for the growth of our band you know i, I hate to kind of throw around the term like blowing up or like big or anything like that because like to me we're still the same band you know yeah. and like um you know we just have a lot more opportunities in front of us that we're really grateful for um but i i mean i i attribute everything to all the kids that come out and support us um you know that kind of goes along with like social networking and stuff like it's really been a great tool for our band to use to be able to grow and such you know like facebook instagram twitter tumblr all that stuff is like a band or business in general is like greatest tool yeah. you know to, to to use because um you're able to expose yourself to so many kids you know it's like we play cities that we've never played before and people come out it's because of the internet you know yeah. it's it's 2013 that's how it is you know so how can people find you like instagram twitter what are your yeah we're, we're all on their real friends band and realfriendsband.com so yeah. it's all in there good so i'm gonna end the interview with i want to do a crazy story that you have from tour what's the craziest thing that's happened <laughs> uh it's really it's, i'm trying to think of something <laughs> that is appropriate um it doesn't have to be appropriate <laughs> Don't make it appropriate. No, um, no, honestly, like, I mean, this sounds lame, but, like, we're kind of more calm band, I guess. Like, we're all a little older. Like, yeah. we're all, like, in our, like, coming up to, to... <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Wow. That really couldn't have come at a more perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it was just, it was giving us the craziest tour story. I think I was It was a pretty calm band, and then you run out of the band. <laughs> 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 that was really no, you have to do it now. You have to finish. Dave has to finish the interview. What's the craziest what's the tour story? What's the, uh, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you on tour? I don't even know. Yeah. Well, we'll switch the interview to. It's a really shitty what's answer. What's ever happened to you? What Thanks for watching. <laughs> the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. Look, the first time. The, when the first time I saw the starting line, I was at Warp Tour, my first concert, like real big concert, and I was in the pit. I was like. Throwing down. I was 14, so I was tiny huge at least 300 pound guy fell and sat on me that was the craziest thing ever happened because i almost suffocated that's my story that's fine <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's good. And uh, you've been watching Ribbit TV. Okay. Was that was that a good? Not just sharded. <laughs> is that a good? Way? <laughs> when I wake up, it's the same day. It fucks me up. Makes me miss who I used to be. All I have are thoughts of me from back when I was 18 in my bony knees. This is the only thing that I really got right here. It's a little wound. Oh, it was pretty interesting. Probably the highlight of the entire tour for me. And then Jonathan was riding the bike. He was uh, chasing this girl named Beth. And she was like, don't chase me. And he was like, I'll get you. And so he had his gloves on. These are the same gloves he was wearing during the accident. That's blood. That's black blood. And, um, but as you can see on his, can I, can I demonstrate? 